Hello guys, welcome to ETB Presents Tech View, another episode. In this episode, I'll show you actually how you can generate alert and send that alert notification to your email or any kind of distribution list, how you can do that. That's what I'm gonna show you right now. So the sending the alert means like, for example, you have a beam backup. So every day your beam backup job is running, right? So without logging to the beam, what kind of issues you have, if all the jobs is successfully running or not, the jobs is fails or not, how you know that? So you have to configure alert. So if you configure the alert, that means alert will be generated inside the application. But how are you going to send it as a notification to your email in absence of your presence or maybe without logging to the application and like viewing from the inside instead of the application if you don't want to view it what kind of um, uh, error or what kind of events is created so all the errors you can get it through your email now the question is how actually you configure it so if you want to send notification again if you want to send notification to your email server, uh, to your email or distribution list, distribution list uh, means a group of emails with one email. That's a distribution list or multiple sender, right? Um, so what you need actually. So you need to configure mail, uh, SMTP mail server. So each and every organization they will have their own SMTP server. If you join for a company, definitely they will have their own SMTP server. You just need to know the SMTP server information and some credentials from the administ from the administrator. Administrator means who is responsible to manage the SMTP server. But today I'll show you if you want to do same kind of things in your home lab, how you can do that, because. Um, SMTP server setup is not like uh, as easy like so I'll show you how you can do that to use a free SMTP server so let's get started so as of now we understand what is the alert is why you need to send it to your email and then if you want to send it to your email what do you need you need SMTP server configuration on your application right and then how are you gonna get the SMTP server so we're going to use third party SMTP server with free of cost, free of cost, no money, right? So that's what I'll show you. Okay, so I'll introduce you one third party uh, application, which is called um, Bravo. And they are the, before the Bravo's name was sending blue or something. So if you have an account with them, they have a, like different different types of pricing model. But to uh, test the alerts, how you can send the alert to uh, like alert configuration, basically, that's enough. If you if you can have their uh, free model, that's enough. So what do you need to do? You have to have have an email address and password, and register with them. So what I did, I opened an email address because I'm gonna use it for all of my application. So this is my email address I, I have created with, uh, so I'm going to create an account. So if you click create an account, okay. Email address, you need, you need an email address. And then you have to have a password for Brebo, like what it says at least eight characters eight character long so you don't need to have okay so i have my email address i set it a password this password is not mean your email address password it's your different password for only for this uh, Brebo. so whenever you try to log into the Brebo, you need this password. So it's, it shouldn't be the same as your email login password, okay? So it's up to you. What, what's the password you're gonna provide? So create an account. Okay, 
Now what it says, it says to validate your registration, an email has been sent to ELS monitor Gmail. Okay, okay. You, now you need to verify actually. So you need to log into your email address in this email address, right? So I have already opened this email and I get the email, see, complete your registration and then confirm my email address. Okay, now let's start with the basic. First, we need to know a few things about you. First name, last name, company name, website, or something like that. Or you can say answer later. Okay, now they give you some, uh, their pricing model, their plan. So the uh, free plan is okay because they are, they are going to give you 300 emails per day. So we are not actually going to utilize 300 email every day because it's just our home lab, right? And as long as you can get, generate some email, um, that's enough. So hopefully we're going to generate maybe in a day two, three, five, or 10 highest. So that plan is enough for us. They continue with a free plan. So now you logged in your, you see your profile. Profile is not started here. So if you want, you can create a profile later on. So we need to have, we need to have some information. So how you can, the SMTP server information, how you're gonna configure it. So if you click here, and then you see here SMTP and API, click here. And then you see, And here is the SMTP key value. So you need this information, you need this information, you need this information, and you need here the key, that this key you need it. When you configure it. So let's start it with this. Okay, so if I, conf if I want to configure my um beam backup what, what should i do go to this three dot and then go to the uh option email setting enable email notification recommended smtp server and advance so in here um Five eight seven. You, you remember the port number is five eight seven. Five eight seven. If it is not there, you, you need to type it. And connection using SSL. So it support the SSL and this SMTP server record authentication. So for login to the SMTP server, you have to provide this authentication. So what is the authentication is? So you have to provide this email address. So go to the add option. This is the email address, right? And Pervo SMTP. And the pa uh, password. So the password is not mean. This password is not mean when you log into the verb, right? What? Oh, sorry. So this is the confusion every time most of the people has, which is the, when it says password, they have assigned the verbal login password. Actually, it's not the verbal login password or it's not the Gmail account password. This is a key. Which key? This is the SMTP key. The password means it's looking for SMTP key. So you can just copy the whole thing. And just paste it here. Okay. So I'll click OK. So I have this. Okay. And then SMTP relay verbal. Okay. So you need to copy this one, which I have already, but you can just 
we paste it here. The same thing. Well, if you don't have it, just paste it again. What happened? Copy and something going weird. Notepad. So maybe you can copy to the notepad here and see why it's not okay. So you got you have it here and then copy from here. And then just pass it here, SMTP server, okay. So beam alert.slv. Now, this is the SMTP server, right? So this information I got it from here and also email and key, everything I got it from this um, verbal portal, right? So now from, that means whenever you send email, so now I'm configuring the SMTP server to send email notification or maybe the alert, notific alert notification to my email. So from where? From the Beam backup. So I can say Beam alert, it doesn't matter. If you don't have this email address exist or not exist, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna show you from where it's coming. From where it's coming, you don't need to have this one existence. That means you don't need to create this email address. Whatever you want, just put it here, nothing else. So since I am sending a notification from Beam, that's why I'm saying Beam notification, Beam notification at, Beam notification at, or Beam alert, or Beam notification. You can say Beam alert. Beam alert at, ELS.com or whatever.com, it doesn't matter. And then where are you going to send it? Which email address? So I put it my one email address here. And if you want to multiple email address, you can say comma, then another one, uh, my another email address. Okay. So before I hit apply, I'm going to test it. Test. Okay, just give me a second. Advance. So what you can do, like when you first set it up, this one, uh, make sure you complete your profile. Uh, you can put any information. It's not necessary like you have to have accurate information, but, and also at the end of your profile, they will uh, ask you uh, uh, cell phone number for the verification. So you can provide your cell phone number, then they will send it to you, a text message uh, with the uh, like security key, a num number like six digit number, so you can just provide that six number digit and verify it. So after you verify it, then it will be work. Otherwise, if you go here and then put all your own information, this is, is still is not gonna work until you, if you finish your profile. So I believe you understand this part and now I'm gonna uh, test. So before I test, I will show you again what we did so far. So this is our email address with Bravo and also the um, like, credentials like the key, which is the master password. Well, it's a SMTP key value. So about this one, all that also with this information. We already provided all those things. You see here, SMTP server is smtpreader.barbo.com. And then from is anything, whatever you want. And two, like multiple email address is, is up to you. Now I'm going to send test message and test message has been sent to this okay and then apply and okay so I sent the test message I'll check it out plus I'm going to do another thing 
which is going to be take a little bit time. Um, configuration backup. Okay. So I'm going to enable configuration backup at this time and also backup now and notification here, what I did, notification sent to email address, my this email, and also I can have my other email, just comma. Uh, And use custom notification settings. Notify this and OK. And I'm going to take a backup now. So after the backup is done, job is done, it's going to send you successful or error or warning, whatever. It will send you the notification. So I'm going to take a backup now. You see, the backup processing is started. It's just a configuration, like beam backup configuration. Whatever the configuration you did so far, everything will take a backup. That's what it means. So just as a test, I'm running this one, this job. Plus, I already I already uh, configure the email notification test and send it to my email address. Let's check it out, my email address. So I'm going to log in my two email. So this is my um, one email. And if you look at here, you see, I have a two alerts, Beam Backup application coming from Beam Alert. So this is the test email, right? And also now I'm going to check on my other email. You see the beam alert, beam backup alert and application alert. So I'm getting alert in both my email address. The reason is I provided that email, right? And let's see what's the status of uh, configuration backup. So last successful backup happened today at 1.28 a.m. 1.28 a.m. So that means the backup is just finished. So after it's finished the backup, it will send the notification. Let's check it out again. You see here, beam alert, warning, backup configuration job. So what's warning is giving? So this configuration backup for is here SLV beam mst01.slb.com and what kind of warning? This is a for one like warning for catalog process uh, processed. So there's a, this, all those are like whatever the configuration you have on the beam backup that's called a catalog. So it's a catalog configuration for items, but it's giving you warning skip here we go because encrypt encryption is disabled. That's what the warning is. So encryption is disabled. You have to do the encryption. When you take a backup, uh, configuration backup here to enable the encryption. That's what it says. So this is actually beam issues. It's not like your alert issues. If you enable this one, and like, So you, you, you just need to add like, add a password here. So it's gonna be created. So I already created it, that's what is there. And you can say, backup again. So it's gonna start processing and within short time, you're gonna get another email and you're gonna see the difference. So, and also I'm going to check my this email. This one also I, I get the same thing. Right, so both email address and I got the uh, backup job notification through my email. Um, so now I'm just waiting for this one. After this one is done, then we're gonna get another notification in both email, right? So this is the way you can configure the notification to this is done, right? So now just go here. Uh, this first you see now I get another email. This is success. So the first one I get warning, now it's a success. That means it's 100% success and it's a green, you see? So no alert here. And if you check on my other email, 
You see, first one was warning, this one is success. That means you're getting the success email. So not only th this, all the jobs you configure, you see here, you have one job configured here, it's gonna be run at 2M. So whenever it's gonna be run at 2M tonight, and after it's done, it's gonna send you successful or fail or like warning, whatever the status is, it will send you the notification. So this is all about the Beam Backup notification setup and also SMTP server. So same way you can do, uh, I can show you maybe on, um, so for the B, B Center, how are we gonna configure the B Center alert? So B Center alert, you just go to the, select the B Center server name and then um, go to the monitoring tab and then, sorry, uh, configuration tab. So go to the general option, mail server. You see the mail server, but you have to go to the edit option first. Edit option and then mail and SMTP server. What is the SMTP server is? So SMTP server is this one. Copy this one, right? Copy this one and then set it here and mail sender again b center alert i'm sending b center alert that's why i'm saying b center alert.slv.com or els.com or whatever it doesn't matter whatever he wants to so just for understanding okay whenever i get the alert how i know this alert is coming from where that's why it's it's like more makes sense if you add if you add the name related to the application so this since this is a b center that's why I said be center alert. Okay, so this is done here, but it's not done yet. There is uh, some other things you need to configure. Just give me one second. Within short time, I'll show you. Okay, so for for B Center in the general option, you just added mail server, which is SMTP relay uh, com, And your mail center is whatever you want. That's just two options, but it's not done yet. So you have to provide the authentication, right? So how are you going to do that? So if you go to the uh, advanced setting, so there is a lot of settings, but how you can f figure out which one is for SMTP. So you can say control F, then search SMTP. What it shows? Mail.SMTP, password, right? And some other things. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to like show you in another way. So, you know, it's in the list, mail.smtp, right? So that's what you need to search. So go to the edit option, edit settings, then just go all the way down and you see there's a lot of pages. You have to go until you can get the mail. So it, I think it's in 17 number of pages or no? 69, uh, 68, somewhere like this. So you can go from this side and then maybe this arrow you can use. So I found in 64 number page, it says mail SMTP password and mail SMTP port, mail SMTP username. So the username means your email address, right? Your email address. And SMTP port is 587, 587. And then your SMTP uh, mail dot SMTP password, which is your key. You remember, this is the key, SMTP key. So just copy this one and put it there, okay. So that's what you need to do. Nothing else. This is the mail. Okay. So save it. All right. So if you if you can check like this, you're gonna see your SMTP password and everything is selected. Yeah, like assigned. So now you can configure. So your SMTP server is set. And now you need to configure the alert. So how are you gonna configure the alert? Alarm definition. Okay. So now it's up to you. Bcell, Bcell Health, Post, uh, uh, Postgres, 
SQL Achievement Server Health or whatever the alert you want, host error. If anything happen with the host or host memory status, host hardware status, host um, pole status, virtual machine error, uh, host battery status. So I have a battery status. No, not in this one, another one. So anything, whatever you want, BM level, host level, you can generally see the backup job status. Um, it's a huge, huge, huge a lot you can generate. Your success host error, license error, mission error. It's up to you what kind of alert you want. So I'm I'll show you an example. So virtual machine error. For example, virtual machine error or host memory, virtual machine. Okay, so think about this one. Select and edit. Then, so this one is um, from the vCenter existing template you are using. So this is the host type, everything you need. You don't need to change it. And click next. And then power is equal to red, remove, and then show as critical. And send email notifications, just enable this one. And this is the subject line. And now you're gonna assign the email address. So if I say my email address, or you can you can have that this email address also. Also, you can send it here. ELS alert monitor. It will go there, right? If you want to have multiple, then just send multiple. It's up to you, right? So it's the ELS monitor. And so it's gonna send you one time. If you say repeat, that means it's gonna be repeatedly. If this alert is not acknowledged or is not remediated, is not or it's not resolved, it's gonna send you repeatedly. That's what it says. And add an advanced action. Also, you can add more advanced option here. It's up to you. And click next. And then if the status is equal to green to the like if it's um uh, whenever the issues is resolved that means the alert will give you green right like the power is green that means power is on right now so in that case the that means is issue is resolved and then send the notification where the same again just provide your email address click next Right, that's it. And repeat action every. So you said repeat, right? So how after how many minutes? Let's say for example, uh, every sixty minutes. That means every hour. So it's gonna send the first time when when the alert is triggered immediately. You will receive an email that the host is the host power is down. Right, you're gonna get an alert, and then within one hour if is the issue not resolved, then it's gonna send you again email. That's called a repeated action. So I just set it up for BM back. So uh, sorry, uh, B center. So this is how if you spend time here, you can you can generate like a lot of alert. It's up to you. You just need to spend some time here. So host virtual flash or there's a lot of things, and also you can add by yourself, like a customize. You can say the BM. Um, whatever the BM something whatever, and in here you can say data center cluster target type the base center you can like say next, and then the condition what what type of condition you want to apply if so it's up to you you can it's a customize so that's what you also can do from the base center. So uh, this is not my main target to show you, but main target was how do you add as SMTP server. So I'm gonna test on here, uh, just send um, option email and send it to here. I, I, so I wanna test with the same email, test, yes. Is send it to the this email. Let's check it out. Yes. 
Oh no, yeah, here. Remember command replication. So easy way we can use this email address just for all kind of notification. So if you configure here, same email address we assign it for. Beam backup notification send, we set it up for B center. So whenever we get, we see something from, so this one is came from Beam, beam alert, see, see here, Beam alert. So you can easily identify, okay, this is from, uh, come, this, this alert is came from Beam. And we also set it up for um, B center, right? B center alert. So you can say B center alert, that means it came, came, came from B center. So that's all actually. Um, that's all for today. Uh, I hope you understand how, how you can set up the SMTP server. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and also don't forget to make some comments because your comments encourage me to make more videos for you guys. And also if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And thank you, thanks for watching.